airport, guys. I am ready to go. Baggage and hi, my lovelies. It is early in the morning. I am not ready to go, but we're gonna hit the trail. I am boarding my flight now. Follow me hiking with Shay. And it's cold, there's a lot of people, but I'm on my way. Somebody did a no-no on the plane. Officers. And now I have to reboard the plane here in about like 10 minutes. <sighs> Don't be suspicious on a fucking plane and bring a manila envelope that's full of whatever and expect it not to be searched. So this is an intriguing way to start off the morning, guys. I'm sorry, it's a little blurry. I am in Atlanta. Um, just touched down about 20 minutes ago. Riding the train down to my baggage. And then... And then after I get my baggage, I'm going to take the MARTA down to my destination. So I am super excited. Let's go. The train. Um, it is already humid, but I'm going to get things together and then get the shuttle driver Give him a call and let him know I am here. So let's go, guys. Let's do this. Hey guys, it's Hiking with Shay. I am in the car at Colton. Just met him. He is awesome. And my driver, Brett. How are you? He is amazing. He redid his schedule and was able to make it out to me by the time that I needed. You want your limb, you want to be at least six feet from the trunk because otherwise the bear can just kind of like do that. <laughs> um, and you want your limb to be about 20 feet high because um, your food bag's going to hang down from that. And so if it starts out too low, your food just hangs so low that the bear can just be like, cool, <laughs> and get it that way. Um, when you're picking your limb, I will say this is probably a little too far out. Um, if I were to re-throw this, I would probably aim for a few feet closer to the trunk um, because the further out you go with the weight of your food bag, it sags the limb, right? And so, like, ideally, it's not quite this far out um, just to keep your, your food bag far enough up off the ground. Um, so you're looking for, like, six feet out, 20 feet high of a limb, um, and then once you throw your line, honestly, that's the hardest part of this whole thing. Yeah. Um, and if I was really, really mean, I would make you actually... Oh, you're not going to make me? Make. All right, so they are redoing the um, check-in center here. So we're moving all this around, but... And here we go. Let's do this, guys. And guess where we are? Yes, you got it. The Appalachian Trail. And boy. I'm just starting out and it's a lot to take in, but so beautiful. Um, a lot of people out today. I'm definitely not alone. Whew. Hey, beautiful spot to have a picnic. Right next to the water. And yes, that is me shaking. I cannot even hold my phone still right now. 
have to go all the way there, pull it around, zigzag, and I'll be there. Amacoma Falls is real, and it is not forgiving. Not forgiving. First time this has ever happened to me, ever hiking, I just threw up. Um, I just felt really nauseous from the humidity and I did chug a lot of water because there is no water once we get past the falls and so I was drinking out of my water <laughs> I passed some people and I was like just hold it just hold it just hold it as you can hear the falls behind me like I'm not even a mile in the trail and I'm gonna be completely honest nothing has ever prepared me nothing will ever prepare anybody for this like real and really out there some people just came by and she was like you've got this keep going so it's very encouraging I'm gonna keep going but oh my lord I, I, I've never thrown up but that's what I get for not eating breakfast and it being almost 5 5 30 Eastern time so I need to go set up my camp and get cooking I'm still about three miles away Wish me luck. At the Amacoma Falls approach trail. Now, that was some steep stuff. I've done a lot of steep climbing, but whenever it's stairs, y'all, stairs will get you. <laughs> Especially with a 40 pound pack full of food. And then two liters of water. Because there's a dry spell. <laughs> so, I am totally out of breath for sure. Anybody would be after what I just did. But we're almost, <laughs> almost there. Everything is so strenuous today. But I would much rather do this today than tomorrow. Cause y'all, I was blessed today. Cause it was supposed to rain and Look at this beautiful sunshine we have. And now, tomorrow is gonna to be beautiful as well. Let's go. I'm about a half a mile from my shelter for the night. My time to admire nature. <sighs> so beautiful. All right, let's keep it tricking. All right, so <laughs> your girl took the wrong way. I took the green blaze because I got distracted by how pretty everything was. But here we are, blue blazing it out on these beautiful green tunnels. I'm ready to get to my site, set up camp. Like I said before, I'm carrying two liters, three liters of water on me right now because there's a dry spell. But I guess I didn't need to do that. I don't know why she told me to camel up. <laughs> Oh well, I got an extra half a mile in today. I'm gonna put that towards my mileage. Because I did not mean to do that, but this is where I'm trying to go, y'all. This beautiful bridge, beautiful water. Let's go. Add a little fireplace, little log I can sit on, plenty of other campsites for people. Um, like it's nice. 
I really like it. Um, I am by myself tonight. That's kind of what I wanted. And I am almost positive. It might just be snowing right now, but... Yeah, I'm positive it is. There's little white things. Yeah. Okay. I'm getting back in my tent. It's nice and warm. <clears throat> And man, I'll tell y'all, I messed up on my water. So I went, I went through a liter of water, and I'm, it's really hard to kind of space out how much water you need for each meal. I made dinner tonight. I can't even eat it because of, I guess, adrenaline. I don't even know. I have height six. Point nine miles altogether. All throughout today, I have walked, hiked, gotten to my destination, and um, I even went a little bit off trail by half a mile um, on the green trail because I was so distracted by the sunset, y'all. It was gorgeous, and I uh, got back on the blue trail, and I wanted to get here, like I said, more earlier than later. I did not do that. I am making a no-no right now, guys, because there are no good trees where I'm at to do a hang, so I am going to tough it out and just leave it in my tent and pray that nothing comes for me at night. So, uh, this is very interesting. It was a very weird day to start out with. My plane was crazy. The police had to come on board because of suspicious people. I uh, mentioned that earlier. Then I caught my shuttle, my MARTA, my everything to get here. Um, I didn't start the trail until 4.30. And then I got to camp after I messed up at uh, 8.00. 15 right as the sun was setting and I got everything up before the sun went down. Thank God So I feel pretty confident about that right now um, Sorry, I didn't video a lot of the trail. It was so steep. It was so steep and <laughs> I think about it and I know I guzzled water and I should not have done that. I was just so thirsty and I went up like 3,000 feet to 5,000 feet of elevation. And it just got me. It got me. So I'm definitely feeling it um, more in my shoulders just because I had to carry two liters of water. Actually, three liters of water because I used my CNOC two liter. And then I filled up my, you know, my water bottle as a one liter. And that was, that's a lot of weight. I think it's, per liter, it's two extra pounds, I think. So I was carrying six extra pounds. Um, all the way up a hill that I wasn't supposed to go up, and then I carried all the way back down. <laughs> and come to find out, y'all, there was a freaking creek I could have just stopped and got it at. But I didn't, <laughs> I guess. Because I was told by the, um... Emma Clum Falls person that, you know, make sure you stock up on your water because there's none from here until a certain distance. Like, okay, I'm going to stock up my water. I did, and then I got to camp, and I wasted four cups because my first meal did not work out at all. The noodles weren't cooking right, and it was taking too much of my fuel. Uh, I don't want to run out of fuel being only this far in. Uh... I'm gonna do a cold breakfast in the morning. I'll show you how I'm doing that. I have my food cooking as we speak. I know I'm in my tent. Like I said, it's a big no no. And I'm a really big advocate on that. But it is freezing. The temperature has like dropped drastically. Um, it's getting colder as the night comes. So I might pull out my. Yeah, I'm probably going to pull out my sleeping pad, or my sleeping bag, I mean. 
I'm in love, you guys. I'm in love. And it's only my first day. <sighs> the Appalachian Trail is amazing. This is a once-in-a-lifetime experience for people like myself. It's a very big deal for me. So, you know, for all of my followers out there um, who subscribe to my channel, watch my channel, I love you. Thank you. Um, I This would not be possible without most of you who support me. Um, I am so blessed. Even though things did not go as scheduled today, I still got here. I still hiked and did almost seven miles um, just throughout the day. Hiking uphill it was crazy. But you'll see it in the video. You know, I'm going to post this tonight. I'm going to do some editing. Um, it's pretty late here. What time is it? It is 10.34, so way past hiker midnight at 9, but I did get to camp late. Fuck it. <laughs> Fuck it. It is what it is, right? But tomorrow, PCT hang, because I'm not playing with my food. I'm not playing, guys. So, I think it's going to be a good day tomorrow. It's supposed to be sunshine. Um, really beautiful. So you guys are going to get a lot of really good views of um, the Approach Trail and then Amicaloma, or not Amicaloma, I'm sorry, uh, Springer Mountain itself. If I don't stop at Black Gap Shelter, but I might stop at Black Gap Shelter because going up to Springer is such a steep hike. And I already did the steep hike today, so I would I am listening to my body and it's saying just maybe go seven to eight miles the next day tomorrow and I am I had to take an ibuprofen um my poor feet are not used to the rocks and uh, roots that they have here and so I definitely have two blisters but I am going barefoot right now giving myself a little massage that always helps you know, treat yourself. I'm giving my back a little massage. Treat yourself. But, yeah, it's been a wonderful day. I miss some awesome people on my flight. Some cool people at the Marta. Um, and, you know, it is what it is. So, thank you again for tuning in. And there's going to be another adventurous day tomorrow. Wait till we get to Black Cap Shelter. Bye, my lovelies.